everyone, uh, I am Steven. I'm the instructor today for this one hour course. So as you already saw in your invitation email that uh, we are going to introduce you our new power director 15 and the photo director 8. And the biggest update for our this version of power director is the support for 360 degree video editing. And also we add a lot of cool features in photo director 8. So we will cover uh, both of the products uh, introduction in this one hour course today. All right, and before we start, we are using YouTube uh, to host uh, this webinar video. So uh, if you find uh, the video quality uh, isn't that good, you can uh, go to this setup icon and switch the resolution, the video quality to 720p that you can get the best uh, video quality. And if you're watching on your PC, you can uh, make it full screen so that you can get the best viewing experience uh, for our course content. All right, so let's start today's course. Uh, in today's course, there'll be three parts. The first part will cover uh, the new features of uh, PowerDirector 15. And as we mentioned earlier, the biggest update in this version is the support for 360 degree video editing. So we got end-to-end uh, -end 360 edit editing capability. And also we got a pretty cool new feature called True 360 View Designer. It allows you to uh, switch your viewpoint uh, in a 360 degree video when you are going when you are producing your uh, final video to 2D, that you can be the director to uh, decide which dimension or which direction uh, you want your audience to look at in your 360 video. And also uh, in Power Director 15, we add another um, a, a lot of new design tools such as uh, blending effect and a, a new tool called Max Designer, which allows you to uh, use a combination of text and graphic to create your own uh, mask. And if you are um, a very experienced or a very um, or a powder to user of you been using our product for many years, you probably uh, will be interested uh, in whether we can use keyframe to control uh, the mask this time? The answer is yes. So we will show you how to use uh, keyframe to control mask in today's course as well. And the second part for today's course, we will uh, give you an uh, introduction of our photo director eight. And uh, it's a uh, photo director, as all of you know, that is a very powerful uh, photo editing software. And in this version, uh, we are adding a new tool called Video to Photo, which uh, help you uh, to extract uh, some uh, photos from a high resolution video to uh, do some uh, photo editing trick on that. And also we are having a huge array of uh, new creativity tools such as color splash and motion blur. So uh, we'll also show you uh, how to use these new features in today's course. In the third section, we're having a little surprise for you. So uh, stay tuned and wait until the last of our course uh, to see this very exciting new scene from us. All right, so let's start the first part, uh, the introduction of uh, Power Director 15. Okay, so we know uh, the video editing market has been changing enormously uh, through the past few years. And uh, Power Director, uh, we launched the first version in 2001, and it's been uh, 15 years since we launched our very first version of Power Director. You can see uh, the video capture technology have been evolving uh, throughout the time from uh, early 2000s that people are using camcorders to record their video and watch these videos on DVD. And back to 2005 that uh, those uh, digital cameras or DSL DSLRs are starting to provide the capability to record video. And the video resolution is pretty high that you can even record up to Full HD resolution and watch these videos on a Blu-ray disc. And after 2010, that a lot of uh, new formats are introduced to the market, such as the 3D and also the Ultra HD, uh, Ultra HD 4K videos. And the device that we are using uh, to capture video has been changed into like GoPros or our smartphones or even like uh, drones from DJI or other uh, companies making drones. So that we see uh, this is a huge change in the past 15 years. But what about 2016? 
we see the new trend uh, is a VR and 360 content that we see a lot of uh, 360 degree cameras uh, entering the market. So in Powder 15, our biggest update in this version is the support for 360 degree videos. So uh, in this holiday season, you'll see a lot of uh, 360 cameras available for you to choose from that you can consider buying a Recall Theta S or uh, a very popular one, the Samsung uh, Gear 360 from Samsung, which is a very nice and compact device uh, that uh, myself, I'm using Samsung's uh, 360 camera. It's a really nice one. And also uh, Nikon just uh, announced their availability for their uh, key mission 360 camera uh, in October, and LG also got their solution. And Kodak is one of the earliest player in the market uh, to for 360 cameras. And also, uh, apart from these big brands, we also see a lot of uh, startup brands like us. Uh, uh, 360 Fly or like Luna from Taiwan, that uh, they all have their 360 camera solution. So um, we can imagine that uh, by this holiday season, this will be uh, one of the most popular um, gadgets in your shopping list that you can buy a 360 camera. And the bad thing is, uh, this camera, they are not pretty pricey. Uh, regularly, their price is around uh, 399 to 499 which is very similar to a GoPro. Uh, while uh, the 3 camera got uh, two lens and allows you to capture uh, the whole surrounding instead of a flat 2D video. So we see a uh, very huge potential for the 3 camera in uh, 2016 and uh, in coming years. All right, so back to PowerDirector. Uh, the new features in this version of PowerDirector, uh, there are three, <coughs> sorry, there are three uh, big group of new features. And the first and most important of all is the support of the 360 degree video. So we are supporting the two by one aspect ratio 360 uh, flat video, which uh, is a standard for, um, for, for services like Facebook or YouTube. They are also supporting this type of format. So you can uh, import uh, the two by one video, you can edit them and produce them, upload them to your Facebook and YouTube channel. And also we got a new feature called the True 360 View Designer, which allows you to uh, switch your viewpoint in the 360 footage that uh, you can uh, control what you want the user to see uh, instead of uh, having them like turning around uh, in the video. And for the design tools, we are having um, a new effect called the blending effect, uh, which can uh, blend uh, the texture of the video onto another and, and using the overlay to uh, create more depth image uh, on the overlay uh, video. And uh, Mass Designer, we've enhan enhanced the Mask Designer interface so that now you got the more control to the mask. And regarding the new format, uh, the biggest change in uh, version 15 is that we are supporting uh, the 9x16, the vertical video in this version. So nowadays, a lot of people like to take videos using their smartphones, like for example, your baby running in, in, in your home, or, and, and, and uh, for example, like your dogs running around. So uh, you can use a, a power director to import these vertical videos and adding, um, adding effects like titles, transitions, or PIP objects uh, in, um, in vertical composition and exporting uh, the video in vertical format or upload them to Facebook or YouTube. So this, these are the new features for PowerDirector 15. So before we start the first part of 360 video, we want to give you a quick uh, catch up of the 360 technology. So usually uh, for the 360 camera we can see nowadays, they are coming uh, with two uh, lens, and each lens covers 180 above uh, degrees uh, of, uh, of a view range. So for example, like uh, Samsung Gear 360, uh, each of the camera lens is 235 degrees. And uh, which means that you can uh, capture the video from two sides while there will be some overlap part uh, between these two lenses. So when you're taking video, you are actually taking like a whole surrounding uh, on two sides of the camera. And if you uh, import the video from your camera, you will see this kind of uh, dual Sophia video 
that uh, which records the two side of the video it recorded. And before you are uh, importing this video to Power Director, make sure you do the first thing, which is called a stitch. That you need to stitch the video to this type of uh, like rectangular, or we say panoramic uh, or flat mode video that uh, it's represented in a, a, a format like a word map and it's projecting a, a, a sapphire image onto a flat uh, interface so that it would look like the, uh, the, the word map. And the center part of the video is maintain its original aspect ratio while the upper and the lower part, we say the, the north pole and uh, the south pole, they are uh, strongly distorted and, and, and wrapped. Okay, so um, make sure that whatever uh, 360, degree, 360 degree you are using, uh, make sure before you add it with PowerDirector, you do this first step. You need to stitch it first. And usually uh, for all these camera makers, they, they all have their own uh, camera, their uh, 360 video stitching software. For example, like uh, from Samsung, uh, they are using a software called uh, Geo 360 Action Director. This is actually um, a software that we designed for Samsung. So uh, this is uh, this Action Director Geo 360 version uh, can handle the stitching of uh, Geo 360 footage while it allows user to do uh, basic uh, editing. So uh, the original original video is shown in here, like this video A, and after stitching you will get uh, like a video like, like this uh, image number two that is flattened and it's ready for you to uh, edit in PowerDirector. So we will show you uh, live how to uh, do the stitching with uh, Gear 360 Action Director. So this is the interface. You launch a uh, Gear 360 Action Director, and if you want to do 360 editing, you can uh, launch the 360 editing interface. And here I'm having uh, several footage, which is taken uh, with uh, Gear 360 feed previously when I uh, went on a trip to New York. So I can import all of them to my media room. So you can see uh, now that if the video haven't been stitched, it will be like this, the two ball, the two sapphire mode, and it, it, it will be uh, stitching in background. So here you can see a status bar showing the stitching uh, status. And once the stitching has finished, you will get a video uh, look like this, that you can use mouse to scroll and control the panning of the viewpoints. And this is me, I'm in Times Square. And uh, you can also switch in here uh, to a panoramic mode that you can see uh, the video has been flattened in this two by one flat mode. And this type of video is the format that's being supported in PowerDirector 15. And also it's a format when you are uploading your video to Facebook or YouTube. And if you want to use this footage in your PowerDirector, you can uh, right click on uh, this footage and click on open file location then you will you you open uh, the file location here are all the video being stitched so these are the footage that you can uh, use in powder 15 if you want to do uh, further editing so this is the concept for stitching then uh, let's go back to uh, the power director part so in Power Director, uh, we can do the end-to-end switch -end, um, editing. Uh, after you import your video to Power Director, you can add the uh, following things uh, like titles, like PIP objects, or transitions. So usually, uh, if you are uh, if you have seen some CCT video on YouTube or, fa or Facebook, you probably will notice that most of this video are not being edited. So they are like uh, two minutes, three minutes, uh, very long and dry video footage. So we want to allow user to to add some uh, sparkles on it, like adding titles, PIPs, and transitions. Also, if the footage isn't that good, you can use uh, the True Theater color enhancement technology to enhance the color. And uh, if you like the Power Director's particle effects, that you can also use particle effect in the 360 footage. And also the video effects, like like uh, those blur effects or uh, watercolor effect that you see in Power Director's effect room all work uh, in the 360 editing mode. All right, so uh, let's start a project. 
uh, to see uh, what Power Director's 360 video editing is like. All right, so uh, actually, um, we will, <clears throat> if you want to edit the 360 degree video, the interface is is exactly the same as what you've been using Power Director to edit the 2D video. So you can see the top left part, here's the preview window. No, oh, sorry, here's the media room, so you can import all your 360 videos or photos in the media room. And also we got a lot of video effects, or PIP objects, or uh, particle effects, titles, transitions are all available for you to use. And all these uh, templates are being uh, optimized for uh, the 3CT aspect ratio so that uh, it can like represent uh, in your video in its best uh, quality when you are using them uh, in your video. And the top right part here is a preview window that you can preview your footage or your photos uh, in, or, and, and also uh, the ongoing status on your timeline. So here's the same, you see this little 3CP icon, click on it. You can switch to 3CP mode that you can use your mouse to control your viewpoints inside of the video. And if you switch, click on it again, you can switch to the flat mode the accurate rectangular mode, that uh, all the editings will be done on this accurate rectangular uh, format. Like if you want to add some titles or some text or some PIP image are all being added here. Okay, and if you've seen, uh, if you've scanned uh, the QR code at the beginning of our video, you probably already saw uh, in the demo that uh, you can um, switch your view angles to all different sides, and you have noticed there are several different titles are showing in this uh, 360 environment. So how to do this type of uh, surrounding title? It's actually pretty simple, that you can go to the title room and to create a new title. For example, I want to create a 2D title. And you are now entering the title designer room. So for example, I want to add a title, a text called the Power Director, and I can put it at the center of the video. And the same, you can use some uh, starting effects and ending effect. Okay, like this. And next, we want to uh, add more surrounding uh, your 3 environment. So you can copy and paste the text and put it in the, in the left side and the right side. And again, I want to put it uh, in your back. So I can put it at the left and the right. Okay, and make sure that uh, because uh, when you're stitching um, this one, to, uh, this surrounding text in the 3CP environment, uh, it will actually, um, uh, stitching the left part of the video and right part of the, the video together. So uh, this health text here and this health text here will, will not show in your video. So if you're switching to 360 mode, you'll see something like this, that the text are showing surrounding you. Okay, and you switch back to the flat mode, you'll see it's actually is a, a, a file text content. So you can, Further, like align them to uh, the center, vertical center, so that you can see uh, it's being split it in these five different parts. And once it's okay, you can save it and make it as a text template in your video so that you can use later on. So this is how you use text. And also you can uh, add something like the PIP objects uh, in your video. So for example, I got a clip here and I can go to PIP room to select something like, for example, I want some uh, action score elements in my video. <clears throat> so I can go to sports and choose this uh, little sports graphic here. And I can resize it, make it smaller, 
and put it at the center. All right. And you can switch to, to uh, 360 mode, so you will see this PIP object are being put in here. All right. And if you want to add some transitions to your video, it's exactly the same as what you are doing in 2D. So like here, I add this uh, grid type of uh, transition uh, between two video clips. And uh, remember, we say at the beginning that when you are uh, using it in the accurate, accurate rectangular projection, that the upper part and the lower part will be stitching together, uh, like the north pole and the south pole of the uh, of the globe. So uh, when you're switching to 360, you can actually see it's like a globe that's uh, melting around you. It's pretty interesting. And at the bottom, you're probably already noticing that here's little power director uh, logo <clears throat> at the bottom in a circle. And if you switch to uh, the flat mode, you see it's a graphic being flattened. So uh, this is what we call a tripod cover in uh, power director 15 that when you are recording uh, 360 videos nowadays, that you are having a tripod at the bottom of the video or your hand at the bottom of the video. And usually uh, you will record uh, it here that it's not looking that good and I want to cover it up. So uh, you can go to the PIP room. Yeah, and I'm finding the tripod cover. And we got this uh, power director, this cyberlink and this little diamond sign. And you can simply drag and drop it uh, on, a, on, on another uh, video track and make it longer. You can now see this uh, tripod cover have been ad has been added. And switching to 360, you can see it's a little circle placing uh, at the center of the, uh, of the ground. And besides using the tripod cover, uh, we also, uh, in the title room, we got uh, other tripod effects, tripod covers that you can type your text there. So it's the same, I put it here and drag it and drop it at the bottom and switch it to 360. You see, uh, you can put some text here. So this is the PIP object and text and uh, the transitions. You can use them all uh, in, in PowerDirector's 360 editing mode. And aside from that, you can also use a uh, particle effect. So in this, uh, particular shot, you see a lot of uh, maple leaves uh, flying uh, around the camera. Let me switch to 60 vote. So you see here a lot of uh, maple leaves are flying around you. And it's added uh, with uh, the particle designer in PowerDirector 15. So you can go to here and select the maple leaves and put it on uh, the video track. Then you can see uh, this maple leaf are being added and surrounding uh, the, the videos. Okay, so uh, these are the object we can add to 360 video. And aside from that, we also can uh, enhance the color using the true theater technology in your video. I know a lot of you are complaining that uh, the video quality for 360 uh, isn't quite good. For example, uh, I used to use the Theta S before and the resolution wasn't that high. So we can use uh, the true theater module to enhance that. So click on the fix and enhance module. Okay, you can see uh, the first problem of this video is the building here is a little backlighted. So we want to enhance the lighting. So I can click on this light adjustment to enhance uh, the backlighting part uh, to the video. So you can see now uh, there are more details on the backlighted part. And also we can use this video enhancement to insert uh, some subpixels to your video, so to make it look uh, higher uh, resolution. And also you can add things like the color enhancement uh, to bring the saturation higher, like this sky part and this tree part, the colors are getting better uh, after, after we enhance that. All right, so uh, these are the 360 editing. So uh, again, uh, it's very similar to PowerDirector's 2D editing. Just uh, remember, you need to know the accurate rectangular uh, format, what it is about, and make sure that you're placing most of the text and the PIP object in the pole, uh, in the in, in this uh, quarter area in the center of the video instead of upper and lower part, so that you will be looking uh, perfect uh, when you're producing to 360 degree video like this. 
Okay, and once all these editing are done, you can then produce a video. So we are providing two different ways for you to produce a 360 degree video. Uh, the first way is that you can produce it to a file format like uh, MPEG-4, uh, H.264 uh, MPEG-4 video. And the highest resolution we can support is a 3840 by 1920. Okay, so this is uh, nearly 4K resolution, and this is the native resolution supported in Samsung's Gear 360. And if you want to publish it online, you can select the online tab and select whether you want to upload to Facebook or YouTube. And the same, the resolution you can set, uh, the highest resolution is 3840 by 1920. And once all this is done, you can click on start to start producing your video. So this is uh, 60 degree video editing. And again, a quick recap, you can support titles, PIP objects, transition, color enhancement, particle effects, and video effects. All right, and the next feature we're showing you is a new feature in PowerDirector called the uh, 360 View Designer. So in the past, if you're using um, a GoPro or your smartphone to record 2D videos, that uh, you can only record the things you're pointing your lenses to. Uh, however, for example, when I'm hand holding a camera, I cannot record myself. I'm recording uh, things I'm pointing to. However, if you're using a 3D camera, uh, upon uh, pressing on the shutter, you actually record everything surrounding the camera. Like, um, <clears throat> for example, I have uh, three people uh, kicking soccer surrounding the camera, so I can record all of them uh, at the same time. Okay, and this uh, provides a very interesting application that in the past, if you are using uh, the 2D camera to, to, to record, you usually would use things like um, zoom or pen to something you want to highlight. But in the 360 world, because you are recording the whole surrounding, so you can actually use the viewpoint controller to control uh, in which time you want to focus your camera on and you want to uh, zoom into certain area. So you can control all this zoom and pan digitally uh, using the control for uh, of uh, with a keyframe. So for example, I have three people kicking soccer here, then I can use keyframe to control in uh, time one, I, uh, I, uh, I highlight the center and in time point two, I move to the right, and in time point three, I move to the left. So I can use the keyframe to control this. So this is the concept of a viewpoint designer that uh, we are using the keyframe to control uh, which viewpoint you want to have uh, in a specific of time in your 360 footage. So uh, the logic is simple that uh, this usually will be used when you're exporting a 2D video. So uh, I can uh, import the 360 footage in a 2D uh, project. Then when I uh, drag this clip on the timeline, you can see this dialog shows up uh, and asking you want to continue 360 editing or if you want to continue with 2D. And if I select 2D, we'll go to uh, this interface called uh, the view designer. Okay. So the view designer, uh, you can see, uh, you can play this video. That uh, by default, you will align to center. And when this guy is kicking soccer to the right, actually the, uh, the camera didn't, uh, wasn't moving. So I want to do the first thing is uh, to add a keyframe. That at the beginning of the video, I add a keyframe at the center. And when he's about to pass in the soccer to the guy in the right, I switch the viewpoint on this guy and zooming a little bit. So you can see here uh, the first set of uh, keyframe has been added. And continue uh, his kicking soccer. And when he is about to kick in soccer to the guy uh, on the other side, I can add another set of keyframe and focusing on him. All right, then you'll get the video look like this. You see with this keyframe control that uh, when these guys are passing the soccer that uh, our camera is moving um, from one place to the other place. Okay, and if uh, in the past, if you're using a 2D camera to record uh, this video, you probably need to take like 20 to 30 shot to get a perfect one. However, if it's a 360, you just uh, uh, put the camera in the center uh, 
when you are recording the video, and you can do all this viewpoint switching when you're doing post-production. And once this one is OK, you can uh, click on OK, then sending uh, this footage back to your timeline. And you got a very interesting footage that is switching uh, the viewpoint throughout the time. OK, so this is the new uh, viewpoint designer in PowerDirector 15. That it's a very great uh, addition to our uh, 360 editing. So if you are having 3 camera, but you want to export to a 2D video, you can consider using this uh, really cool new tool in PowerDirector 15 to do editing. All right, and the next feature we'll show you are some new tool, new design tools in PowerDirector, uh, the mask designer and the blending effect. So uh, in the past, if you want to create a mask in PowerDirector, uh, with text and graphic, you need to create uh, image in other software like uh, Photoshop or like uh, PowerPoint, then using that image as mask. But it's a hassle to do that thing. So in this version, we are adding a new tool called Mask Designer that you can use a combination of uh, text and image to create a mask. And also we are getting, we are getting this new effect called uh, the blending effect, uh, which allows you to overlay uh, this texture of the video onto the other, so that you can bring more uh, depth of the in, uh, of the video, um, of the video texture. Uh, uh, you, you want to make it uh, look better. All right, so uh, let's take a look at the demo. All right, so the first thing we're showing you uh, is the blending mode. So here are some footage I took uh, when I went to uh, Okinawa this March, like this uh, whale shark uh, video footage. It looks nice, but I want to uh, make it better. So I put it to timeline, and in the tools panel, you can see a new tool called blending effect. So in blending effect, we're actually having a lot of uh, this uh, blending uh, templates you can add in this blending effect onto the video, like this lens flare, or this uh, little spotlight, or this little like page on screen with a lot of uh, text flying by, and this lilac effect. Okay, I think this one looks nice. And we also can set a different blending mode here, like a darker multiply, or overlay, or screen. Or lighten okay so once it's done you can click on okay and you'll see on the timeline this is the track number one and on track number two there are some uh, blending footage being added uh, to to the original one and it's overlaying this type of uh, effects on the original video and you can use uh, the blending effect room to add uh, the effects from our templates or download uh, these blending templates from uh, our director's own community. And the other way we can do is that you can use uh, your own footage to be the blending layer on timeline. So for example, uh, I'm having uh, this little ink splash uh, template. I download it from Vimeo, okay? And I want to use this as a template to do the overlay. So I put it to uh, track number two. Right, and I can uh, cut this one shorter. Okay, and because the aspect ratio wasn't the same, so I can uh, enlarge the texture a little bit. And next, uh, I can uh, right click on this uh, footage in track number two and go to uh, set clip attributes and set blending mode. So I can do things like I want to lighten Lighten means that I remove the black part while I remain the white part. So you can see uh, the black part has been, have, have been uh, looking like something like a mask right now. You can click, click on it. So you can see after uh, adding this blending layer, uh, your video look like this. It's pretty cool. This uh, ink splash effect. Okay, so uh, we can also do things like if I'm having this light spot, you can uh, do the same thing. 
that you can uh, set the clip attributes and setting different uh, blending mode on it. So you can see uh, this light dots are being overlaid on the background video. All right, and the next thing I uh, will show you is a new uh, designer tool called the Mass Designer in PowerDirector 15. So we want to use this uh, exactly same footage to uh, create a mask. So in the past, uh, the mask is uh, a part of our PIP designer room. But in this version, we are making it a standalone tool. It's under designer called Mass Designer. And in Mass Designer, you can still use this uh, shape to trim it. Or you can use this new, new tool called uh, Create a Mask, your own. So click on it. You're entering this uh, editing interface. You can uh, type in some text. Like, for example, it's a trip to Okinawa. So I can type Okinawa here. And I can set a uh, font I like. And I can add uh, more than one text here. So for example, I want to type uh, Okinawa Chura Umi Aquarium. I can type it here and reposition it. OK, so I, I got this text here. And besides from uh, text, we can also add some image uh, to your mask. So I, I add this uh, little whale shark here and reposition it. OK, now that you're having uh, this mask created, so you can click on OK and save it. So you got this uh, really cute little mask. And you can also use keyframe to control uh, the animation effects. So for example, I want uh, this tag to be uh, zooming in throughout time. So at the beginning, I can make uh, it smaller. And from the here, OK. And at this point, I'm making it full screen and centered. So you can have a mask look like this. All right. And as we mentioned earlier, that uh, this mask is also a PIP object. So it remains all the PIP attributes. So you can click, double click on it. And you can do things like adding some shadow to the mask, uh, adding a little bit blur here, opacity higher, distance shorter. OK. And you can add things like a border. I want it to have a little white border here. Click OK. So you can get the final video look like this. OK, so uh, this new tools, blending effects and the mass designer uh, can help you to create a more uh, more. Uh, splendid or a more uh, visually pleasing effects like a um, uh, 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 texture rich uh, background video and a keyframe controlled uh, mask uh, created uh, using a combination of text and uh, the graphic uh, elements. All right, so uh, this uh, mask designer and blending effects are two new features in Powder to 15, uh, we encourage you to download our trial version to give it a try if you want to uh, see how it can do, how it can help your video. All right, so uh, these are the new features for Powder to 15. And next, we are going to uh, the second part is the Photo Director 8 introduction. Okay, and the first feature we want to show you in Photo Director 8 is called Video to Photo. So nowadays, uh, a lot of you having a uh, camera being able to capture uh, 4K videos. For example, the iPhone 7 or uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 7 or uh, S7 Edge or like uh, Sony's Xperia Z, uh, XZ. These phones are able to capture the 4K uh, videos. And 4K video, the resolution is really high that uh, each frame of the video is uh, a megapixel picture that it's a very good resource 
uh, for uh, photo creation. So in Photo Director 7, uh, we've designed these three scenario that you can use a video as a source content and create really uh, amazing uh, photos. So the first one is multi exposure. Let, for example, uh, you are uh, capturing a video of uh, Azalet or uh, a ballet dancer, and you can capture different frames inside of this video and uh, merge them into a multi exposure photo like this. And the second one is panorama. So if you are panning your uh, camera in like vertical or horizontal position when you're recording a landscape, a landscape and you can capture different frames inside of this video sequence and merge them into a panorama photo and third one is a face swap feature that if you're taking a group video you can capture a different frame inside of this group shot to get uh, the best facial expression uh, on the people in the photos so uh, let's go to power uh, photo director 8 uh, interface to see how to use this one so to use the video and photo tool, you can go to the library and click on this new icon called Video to Photo to select a video resource. So after you importing a video clip, uh, it will pop up a, a message, a dialogue to show you uh, to to ask you which type of uh, photos you want to merge. So for example, here we want to merge a panorama photo. So I can enter this interface. So you see, this is a vertical video and it's uh, taking at the harbor in Taipei City and <clears throat> it's in the evening so it's got very strong uh, backlighting that you cannot see the detail of the, the boat in the center. So first of all you can apply uh, the true theater enhancement to uh, bring back more details in the photos. You can see the lighting here is better right now and next uh, we'll capture different frames inside of this video sequence. So I'll do them one by one. For example, I take uh, six photos and I can import them to library. Okay, and after importing to library, uh, you enter Photo Director 8 uh, panorama um, interface. So you can click on this merge. Then it will start to analyze and stitch in uh, this, this uh, different photos into a panorama uh, wide angle shot. Okay, and after a few seconds work uh, is it, it, here, and but uh, there's something you can do better than when you are merging a panorama shot. Uh, usually there will be some uh, black area, means these pixels wasn't uh, recorded uh, or wasn't captured when you are taking the original content. So you can make a large and click on this auto fill boundary and use photo director's uh, content aware feeling feature to fill in the background, like the skies or uh, the missing part of the bridge here or the trees here. Okay, so uh, after a few seconds, they can see uh, this background has been uh, filled here, like uh, the texture of uh, this bridge and the sky part, the tree part has been uh, has been auto automatic filled, which is pretty cool. They you got a higher resolution panorama photo. And the second example will show you how to merge a uh, group shot. So here uh, is a video sequence of, of uh, my colleagues, but they never smile at the same time. Uh, however, I want to have a photo that everyone is smiling. So I can go to a uh, different place of the video and click on snapshot and capture a nice photo with the person smiling. Then I can import these five photos to library and click on merge. And Power Director, a photo director will now uh, analyze the face of uh, each people on these shots and giving them uh, the best face, which is a smiling face. And if you want to change the face, you can uh, click on the face and change to another one. <laughs> like this one, I gave an ugly face to Victor. <laughs> so he's like a. A, a, a really bored face face here and I can uh, change it back to a smiling face 
So this is the face swap feature in Photo Director 8 uh, that you can use the video as a source material and capture different friends in this uh, group shot video to merge them to a perfect uh, group shot photo. All right, and the last one is my favorite one is the multi exposure. Okay, and uh, here we have a skateboarder who is doing skateboarding. Okay, and I want to capture a different part of this video. So first one here, second shot, three, four, and five. So I capture these five photos and I can import it to uh, the library. All right, so uh, the first thing we want to do is that I want to track uh, where this skateboarder is. So I can click on the first frame and circle it and click on yes. Then uh, photo director will start to do the motion checking to find out uh, the position of uh, this skateboarder in these five frames. You can go back to check if uh, the selection in these five frames are correct, or you can uh, manually adjust them, make them uh, the selection better. And once done, you can click on merge. Then you can uh, merge these five shots uh, into one with a continuous action. Okay, this looks really cool. That we got uh, use motion tracking to track uh, where the skateboarder is. And second, that we are using the content aware technology to recognize uh, the foreground and background so that you can see uh, the part that uh, the overlaid part uh, between skateboarders, different shots are really well handled. And furthermore, we can add things like the fading effect or fade out effect to bring more uh, texture to your photos. Okay, so this is really cool. So uh, back to the slides that uh, we got these three new features in video to photo, multi-exposure, panorama, and the space swap. And uh, these three features are all uh, available uh, for video to photo. And also you can use them as a standalone feature if you got a series of uh, burst shot photos. Uh, you can use these photos under the editing module and to merge our multi exposure, paranoma, or face swap pictures. All right, and uh, in Photo Director 7, we are also having a lot of uh, new creativity tools like motion blur, overlay, or uh, color splash. So uh, you, uh, let, let us see the demo here. Okay, so the first thing we want to show you is a new tool called uh, the Color Splash. So let me open this one. And Color Splash allows you uh, to pick one color in your photo to keep it while making other parts uh, in black and white. So you can go to Edit Module and select on Color Effect, Color Splash. And you can select, for example, I want to keep the red part. So only the red part being kept. Or if I want to keep the yellow part, or if I want to keep uh, the blue part, you can see only certain color being kept uh, in this photo. And if you want to remove some part you don't want, you can use this brush tool to brush on the part you want to remove the color. So it's really a nice tool if you want to create uh, color isolation effects uh, in your photo that only to keep one color, you can use this new color splash effect in Photo Director, in photo director 8. Okay. And the next feature we want to show you is the new overlay, uh, the new overlay feature. So uh, let me open this photo. Uh, this is an urban chain in Japan, and I want to put some uh, lens flare on it or some uh, light lake effect on it. So you can find under editing, uh, there's a new panel called overlay. Okay, so here you can select some uh, building overlay template like this light lakes or uh, this uh, this uh, lens flare effect. We got uh, a lot of uh, lens flares building. And also uh, you can adjust uh, the position and the size of this lens flare effect here. Okay, 
So this is a pretty cool new feature in uh, Photo Director Seven, uh, Photo Director Eight, that you can now use uh, adding some overlay effect on your photo. And the next new effect is called the motion blur. So we actually having the blur tool since uh, last version, which give you uh, the, the choice to use a radius type of blur uh, filter or uh, a linear type of uh, blur to create something like tilt shift. And also you can use things like a brush to uh, brush the part you want to uh, keep it uh, clear. Like here, I'm uh, having the front part of the chain clear. And I want to give it a sense of speed. So I can use this new tool called a uh, new filter called the motion blur to adding some uh, speed line motion blur effect here. So you can see uh, this this uh, trend is now looking very fast moving. OK, so uh, this is the new blur tool. And next, we want to add some text on this photo. So usually, we will go to the layer panel to add some shapes or some text uh, on this photo. Then we are having the layers uh, feature since uh, Photo Director 7. And in this version, we know a lot of you maybe don't have that much time or don't know how to use the layer. So we got this new uh, layer tool called the Express Layer Template. You can click on this Add Layer icon and click on Add Express Template. We got a lot of uh, pre-designed template. You can click and add it to your photo, like adding this um, this photo frames. And because it's a layer, so I can uh, freely remove some part uh, in in this photo. Like I want to remove uh, some of the textures in this photo, and I want to change the text here. So I can use the. Uh, use uh, some text I want to change myself in the photo. So uh, you can use this new Express template to um, to create a multi-layer project uh, in few seconds. And uh, we also have thing, um, the capability for you to upload the layer template you created, or you can download a uh, template created by others or created by Cyberlink that will upload uh, some new template constantly on Director Zone for you to download. OK, so uh, these are the new features for Photo Director 7, uh, Photo Director 8, including motion blur, overlay, and color splash, and also the new Express Layer template that uh, we are having a lot of building uh, layer template for you to choose from. And uh, last, here's one more thing that we are really excited. We are going to uh, introduce you a new uh, product in Cyberlink family. It's called the Makeup Director. OK, and Makeup Director is a digital uh, cosmetic tool that we got a lot of uh, makeup tools like lipsticks, like uh, blush, or eyeliners, or skin color, etc., that allows you to uh, overlay very true to life and realistic uh, makeup style, makeup looks on your photos. And this software was before uh, we got the technology from our sister company called Perfect Corp. They got uh, a very famous um, uh, app called You Can Make Up. That it's been uh, 200 million downloads on uh, Google Play Store and iOS Store. And we are using uh, this technology on PC, on Windows and Mac PC. Oh, by the way, it's our second uh, Mac software. So if you're a Mac user, you can uh, consider buying this one. And the best thing for uh, handling this kind of uh, makeup photos on your PC is that uh, the PC got the stronger processing power. So you can, uh, you can handle higher resolution photos and even raw footage, uh, raw image or a TIFF files. And this is an ideal solution for those uh, portrait, art, uh, portrait photographers or makeup artists that they don't need to uh, spend hours of time trying uh, new makeup styles. They can use it uh, digitally on models face to see what kind of um, makeup looks uh, fit the model best before applying the real um, <coughs> makeup on the model's face. And for the portrait photographers, that uh, 
if uh, the original photo on the model's face or the makeup look isn't that good, that that you can use uh, the makeup director to handle it afterward, afterward to adding some uh, makeup styles and, and makeup effects on the model's face when you're doing uh, the photo editing. All right, so uh, let's take a look at how makeup director works. So this is makeup director. And the first example we'll show you is Amelia Clark. OK, in makeup director, uh, our technology is based on the facial recognition. So you can see um, on the face, there are a lot of uh, feature points, like the edges of face, eyebrows, eyes, pupil, and nose, and lips. And on the PC, uh, if this auto scan isn't that accurate, you can uh, always adjust it slightly. And after you select the feature point, you can come back to apply some makeup look on her face. So for example, uh, Amelia Clark is known for uh, her character in uh, Game of Thrones, the Dragon Queen. So you can apply this kind of a Dragon Queen look on her face. You can see uh, her skin is now white and her eyes is now blue and she's got a uh, pink blush and lips. And uh, Amelia was early, uh, was uh, acting in a movie called Me Before You earlier this year, which uh, she's got very strong uh, makeup look on her face with very strong uh, eyeshadow and lip color. So you can uh, apply this kind of uh, one click uh, color, uh, makeup looks on her face and it's very convenient and easy. And all this look, you can create your own or a, an upload to our Beauty Circle community, or you can go to the Beauty Circle community to download the look created by others and use it uh, on your photo. So let me show you how to uh, create a look yourself. So we use this photo from uh, Emma Watson, as she will be uh, the belle in the new Beauty and the Beast movie. So I want to try out a uh, Beauty and the Beast belle look on her face. So first of all, I noticed there are a lot of uh, little freckles on her face, and I want to remove those. I can uh, use the face tool to uh, add some skin smoother and use the uh, blemish removal to remove these uh, little freckles on her face. OK. And the next, I want to use a foundation to change her face color. So I want her face look uh, brighter and white. So I add uh, the foundation here. And next, I want to add some blush on her face. She should have a rosier um, and pink blush. So I can add it on her face, a pink color, a red color. Oh, this is too strong. OK, this pink color looks nice. And I want to uh, I want the blush from uh, two sides of her, her face. So I can select the pattern here. And the face shaper allows you to slightly making the face smaller. And we can add the face contour by two sides of her face to making uh, her, her face more highlighted. And also, we can add the nose enhancement, which also adds some shadows by two sides of her nose. And the next thing we want to add here is the eye. So you can uh, go to the eyeliner tool to add the eyeliner to her eyes. So I choose this cat eye style. And then the eyelashes. Then we can wear some mascara on her face, on her eyes. OK, so I give her, give her this uh, little princess look. And eyeshadow, we can set uh, the eyeshadow we got uh, in our color plates. There are a lot of uh, colors to choose from. So for example, I choose this warmer color, OK, and choosing the blending patterns. So you can see uh, the effects applied right away. OK, and after this, I can uh, change her eyebrow shapes. So I want to uh, have her eyebrow look uh, thinner, look like this. And the eye color, because Belle, her eyes is uh, blue. So I want to have Emma Watson wearing uh, eye contact, contact glass here. I make the color stronger in blue. And I can also change it to light green, yellow, or other colors. OK, and I noticed there are little eye bags under her eyes. 
So I can use the eye bag remover to remove the eye bags and using the eye enlarger to make her eye look uh, slightly larger. All right. And after the eye part, we go to the mouse part, the lip part, so I can add some uh, lip color on her mouth. And uh, if you want to have a more texture like this uh, shine and glossy look, you can make it uh, adding some textures on this photo. And also, uh, not only single color, we also support the two-tone color. So you can use this uh, two-tone, dual-tone uh, lip color, which is pretty popular right now in Asia. So uh, you can use this dual-tone color to enhance her, her, her lip color. And for her teeth, it's a little bit uh, dark, so I can use the teeth whitener to brighten the teeth. And using this smile to make her a bigger smile. All right, and the last part, I want to dye her hair because the bail, her hair should be brown. So I change to brown color. So you can see uh, she's got a new color, a stronger one, a red color, a blue color that is being, uh, added, being altered right away. Okay, so now let's take a look at the before and after comparison. Now this is the original Emma Watson, and this is one uh, after we adding some uh, makeup look. So it looks very natural right now. And this is makeup director. So we really encourage you to uh, find this software and give it a try on uh, our Cyberlink website that you can uh, go to cyberlink.com and finding under our products, there's a makeup director. And it's selling for $49.99 right now and supporting both Mac and Windows version. And, and you can uh, give it a try if you want to download a free trial version. All right. So uh, that's for today's product introduction. And I really appreciate that uh, you stay uh, till the last. I know today's course is pre-recorded, but I hope you enjoy today's course. And today's uh, webinar is brought to you by Cyberlink Learning Center. If you want to find more uh, tutorials and webinars, you can find it on Cyberlink Learning Center by entering www.cyberlink.com.